And then you've got the itemized deductions. Now the itemized deductions is usually the place where we think of as most of the deductions, like the, the mortgage interest uh, deduction, the state taxes, you know, property taxes and things like that. Usually the charitable deductions mainly are in uh, the itemized deductions. So a lot of the deductions that come to mind are in the itemized. Now, a few years ago, they tried to simplify the code. And one way you can imagine they simplify the code is to say, let's just do away with all these itemized deductions and let's do away with some of the, all this stuff and just give everyone a standard deduction. That would be a way to greatly simplify the code. Obviously that's quite difficult to do. And no matter what you do to the code, there's gonna be winners and losers. So what they tried to do is, is increase the standard deduction. That's what they did, which basically means that's a step in kind of, kind of making it more simplified because now more people are just gonna be taking the standard deduction. Now you would think usually that the, the itemized deductions are gonna be imp are, are gonna be helping out more well-off individuals usually because the more well-off you are, the more likely you're gonna have higher uh, itemized type of, of deductions. And that's you know just a general idea. So as people get more income, they're likely to be moving from a standard deduction to itemized deduction, and that usually makes the return more complex. Also just wanna note that we're thinking about this as basically an, it's an income tax. We have an income statement in essence. We have income minus, we've looked at two categories of deductions or adjustments to income and deductions or three categories, depending on how you count it. The greater of the adjustments to income above the line and then the below the line, which includes standard deductions and itemized deductions. Now you might think, is there a general rule with an income tax. If I was to ask somebody to make a tax code from scratch and say, what would make sense if you're gonna apply an income tax, most people would, you'd get to the point where you'd say, well, obviously I can't really tax the gross income, maybe. I instead usually have to tax the net income. And this is most clear when you're looking at business income, because if you have two different businesses and you're applying an income tax to them, and one business has very little expenses and the other business has to invest a lot of expenses in order to generate their gross income, then it wouldn't be fair to tax the top line, their income line. It would, it would only, you would think be fair to tax the net income. Otherwise you would be incentivizing businesses that have very little expenses because, because right, because the, uh, the, the one that has a lot of expenses doesn't get the tax benefit. They're getting taxed on their gross income. So in general, you would think an income tax would mean that anything that's a valid deduction would be the things that you had to expend in order to generate the revenue. That would be a natural valid in, uh, income tax type of deduction. Uh, but with individual income taxes, it's a little bit, we don't really see that oftentimes because most people work as a W-2 employee. And as a W-2 employee, the concept, the idea is that you don't have to pay for your own expenses in that case because the employer pays for the expenses. So the whole idea of being a W-2 employee is that you don't have business expenses because the employer should be taking care of those. So, so and then of course we added all these other expenses that have other social uh, kind of rationale for it. Meaning the tax code might be manipulated or adjusted by the law because they want to uh, stimulate the economy possibly. Or the tax code might change under the law because they want to incentivize one thing or another thing. Such as if they want to incentivize more house construction or something they might do something like allow you to deduct mortgage interest and stuff and stuff like uh, that, which which some of those itemized deductions you would think from a natural tax code standpoint would be kind of weird. Like, why would you deduct the state taxes for the federal uh, income taxes? You know, it's not really exactly a business expense like why. And you would think the state should be separate from the Fed. So that's kind of weird. The mortgage interest thing is a little bit is quite strange because it's your personal residence. So why would you, if it was an income tax, you didn't have to spend that money in order to generate the revenue directly. So it seems like that's a personal expense. Obviously they have different rationales, such as 
they want they want everybody to have a house or, or whatever the rationale will be we can argue whether that rationale be good or bad it's just not exactly natural what you would naturally think for like an income tax charitable deductions obviously again you can see the rationale well we're trying to incentivize charitable deductions but again it's a deviation from just what you would think would be natural type of deduction for an income tax and obviously as the tax law expands over time different different kind of whatever's whatever's in the current vogue thing that they want to incentivize might make its way into a deduction or a credit on the tax code if you look at the at the business taxes for like a schedule c then you see what you would expect from like just a natural income tax without the government trying to manipulate nudge people or whatever they're trying to do with uh, other types of deductions obviously 401k plans and IRA deductions are an attempt for the government to nudge people to save for retirement right that's going to be the idea they're trying to influence your behavior through through uh the tax code so a lot of a lot of that kind of manipulating of behavior altering incentives is done through the tax code okay so these are this is going to be the one of the major kind of two if it's a standard deduction that'll be a much easier return if you're a tax preparer then you might try to think to yourself where is my focus going to be do i mainly want to focus on lower income tax returns who are normally going to be taking the standard deduction usually tax returns where i make less of a profit margin per return but i can usually do a lot more returns because they should be a lot easier if i don't have all the itemized deductions and whatnot uh, or am i going to focus on higher income tax returns in which case i'm usually going to have a lot more itemized deductions adding a lot more complexity to the situation and uh but and i'll because of the more complexity i'll have less uh I'll, I'll do less tax returns and but i'll have a higher profit margin more money per return and you'll probably have have more uh, opportunity to do income tax planning for the uh, higher income individuals so those are a couple things that you might want to keep in mind obviously then you you can also think about do i want to do individual tax returns or focus on business tax returns as well such as uh, schedule c's s corporations c corporations llc's partnerships and that kind of thing 